What's up, everybody? We hope you're having an awesome day. For those of you that are new here, hey, welcome to Rob Squad Reactions. We hope you guys are ready to have some fun, listen to some amazing music. But you are here, as always, with your boy, Jay. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Amber. And today, we are very excited because we have one of country music's biggest successes. He was also one of the first black artists to become a superstar when it comes to country music. We've done him once before, right? A long, a long time, time ago. ago. Like, I know for a fact it's been... Probably over a year and a half ago. Yeah, and we talked about him yesterday, and we asked for a suggestion from you guys, and you gave us this song. Today we're listening to Charlie Pride, and the song is, Is Anybody Going to San Antone? To San Antone. Guys, give yourselves a pat on the back. Y'all always do amazing jobs by giving us suggestions, especially, I know we know not everybody watches all the way to the end of our video, but the end of our videos, you know, we'll have some questions, we'll ask you guys some yeah, things. Yeah, that was cool. And for those of you that stick around through the whole thing, hey, we really appreciate y'all and some questions and giving us some feedback cool and suggestions. giving us a good old Charlie Pride suggestion. Right, and there, this was a pretty big consensus that this should be the next song that we do. And uh, Kiss an Angel, Good Morning, his voice was so oh, warm and goodness. deep, so... Second time going at this, man. We're really excited to see what we're going to get. But real quick, before we get started, if you are new, make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button down below, and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a video, because we don't drop us one or two videos a day. We drop three, y'all. Every day. Charlie Pride. Is anybody going to San Antonio? That's what my grandpa used to say. San Antonio. San Antonio? Is that? Well, yeah, it's for okay. San Antonio. My grandpa used to call it San Antonio. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, San Antonio. Let's <laughs> get back. Rain dripping off the brim of my hat Sure is cold today Here I am walking down 66 Wish she hadn't done me that way Sleeping under a table in a roadside park A man could wake up dead But it sure seems warmer than it did Sleeping in our king size bed. Is anybody going to San Antonio or Phoenix, Arizona? Any place is all right as long as I can forget I've ever known her. I like it. It has that old school western sound. And I don't know, you know, he was the first African American, you know, country artist. I'm, I'm a guest, 60s probably. Yeah, yeah. I think, like, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, 50s, 60s. Because I remember in the last video, it was really interesting to me to read comments about how. A lot of um, you guys listening on the radio didn't know this was a, a black man until like he was on a that's TV awesome. show. That's and, so cool. Yeah, and so like it was a transition from radio to TV there. So that's obviously that point in time. But it's very country. It's like like old school. It's like, like the oldest old school country that I think we've listened to. It's just got all the characteristics of just you know bare bone country. Right now, my question is: It's not the end of the video. But I'm asking anyways. Did they accept him? Oh, I think did, that he was like, loved. Like, like, did, did they, when he first started, they welcome him with open arms? I think, I, if I'm correct, because the, the comments on the last video were so cool. He was so interesting. He was, they, he was loved. Like, he was, even after, My like, man. seen him on TV, oh, like, he, man. like, he was, he kind of broke barriers, you know, especially being in country music. He was really loved, guy. respected, all and loved, right, so I think right, it's cool. All right, Let's get back, <laughs> Charlie Pride. Let's get it. And gripping down the neck of my shirt Like I ain't got nothing on But I'd rather fight you can't tell the wind voice. and rain Than what I've been fighting at home oh. Yonder comes a truck for the U.S. mail People writing letters back home Tomorrow she'll probably want me back but I'll still be just as gone Is anybody going to San Antonio Or Phoenix, Arizona Any place is alright as long as I can forget I've ever known her
I like the whistle at the end. I like the whistle. I really, y'all know, I absolutely love, and it's country, so I gotta call it the fiddle. Oh, yeah. I love the fiddle. And it's the way, the, the strength that it had in the ends. And at the, it was fine. It was cool. That's, and I, that's an instrument I actually want to learn. I need to, oh, could y'all see, so could y'all see your boy Jay getting down on that fiddle? I would be killing it. But no, Charlie Pride, that, that was a really, really good song. And it was also like the ultimate heartbreak song. Like, I thought it was also like really well written. Because he's talking about, he would rather, so he's running away from all yeah, that, right? He's, he's like, anybody going to San Antonio or to Phoenix, Phoenix, Arizona? Or Phoenix, Arizona, take me somewhere. He's trying to get away. He's running away from this woman because he said basically he'd rather sleep underneath the bench outside than have to than go back to his own bed. And he'd rather fight the wind and the rain than have to go home and fight what he's fighting inside his own house. Like, he is fed up. He is done. She done ran him off. I don't know if he made it to San Antonio. I don't know if he made Phoenix, Arizona, but he obviously that day made a choice and he stuck with it. No doubt about it. Guys, thank y'all for that suggestion. We need some more Charlie Pride here on the channel. That's second time we've done him in almost pushing two years now, so we definitely need to get more of his catalog up on our channel. I find him very, very interesting and intriguing, and I love how you guys do drop like lots of facts and historical moments for these artists. And One of the other fun facts was I think you guys said he's the first male artist to win the was one of the country male voice awards twice in a row. And I can see that because when he sings, you can't tell if he's Caucasian or African American. Well, I don't think it mattered at that point. Tell. I think that you just fell in love with his voice and like I feel like we did a the first video we did was a live and I feel like he had a demeanor about him that was very very easy and down it to earth and likable. Yeah. And you get that in his voice as well. So I can see why he absolutely took off and it's artists like Charlie Bride that like really did break barriers and you know create these conversations in households. Broke and... the barrier for your boy Hootie. Yeah. <laughs> or, 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 no, <laughs> Hootie and the Blowfish, wait, wait. Darius Rucker. Darius, I was gonna say, what's his oh, name? Darius love Rucker. Dar maybe, maybe that's why I love Charlie Pride so much because I love, love, love Darius Rucker. I didn't know him as Hootie. I didn't know him from Hootie from the Blowfish. I, just, I knew him I, as I, a. I thought his name was Hootie. I <laughs> I knew him as an individual artist, but perhaps that is why I'm so drawn to Charlie Pride because he was the first to do it and his voice is so warm and rich and inviting and to see what he's done in, in country music i think that's really interesting so i can't wait to listen to more for sure well, guys thank y'all as always and we send you out of here the same way every single day we love you we thank you we appreciate you and remember every day that you guys wake up it is a blessing and that you are blessed to see another day and for your new family members to hit that subscribe button we talked about earlier we welcome y'all to the rsr family and hope you enjoy your time here with us but while you are here you got a very important goal every day. Let them know, Ma. Okay, so it's very simple. All you have to do is make somebody smile. We love you guys. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.